set a career high in innings today with six. Just what was going for you out there? Um, I mean, really just kind of the guys behind me. I mean, when you got the eight guys behind you that are playing as well as they are, I mean, it's easy to throw the ball over the plate and know when the ball gets hit and you're going to get out. You're still the guy throwing the ball, though. Like, <laughs> yeah. So what, <laughs> what was working from that perspective? Um, I mean, really just kind of trusting, trusting Hawk and what he was calling and just committing to the pitch and throwing it over the plate. How much trust do you have in Bennett back there? Oh, I mean, it's it's hard to put into words. I mean, that dude, the amount of work that dude puts in every day, I mean, you can't not trust him. I mean, it's you just know he's going to be a wall back there, and it's it's a great feeling as a pitcher. Have you always worked from the far side of the rubber like that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of just kind of haven't done that. I don't know why. Or there's no reason behind it. But Came pretty close to matching your career high in strikeouts set against Lafayette a couple weekends back. Were you uh, asking Waz to go back in there for the seventh at all? Or um, No, I, I have – Full, full trust in the coaching staff to make the right decision. They, they pulled me in. I knew Brad was coming in, and I knew Brad was going to get out. So, What's the mindset after an inning where you give up a run without giving up a hit and kind of staying confident through that? Um, kind of knowing that that inning, I mean, I wasn't as locked in as I should have been. I mean, kind of lost focus there and then kind of gained it back. So just kind of trusting going back to um, just going pitch to pitch and just committing to that pitch. After Hawk came out in that inning, you, I think you k two guys and got a grunt or fly out from somebody to end the frame. What, what was said out there? Um, he kind of just said, you know, um, kind of, you know, just relax, kind of um, slow the tempo down a little bit. I was getting a little fast, so just kind of slow it down. I mean, refocus, restart, and just kind of reset. How, how do you refocus? Like, what's what's the process there of refocusing for you? Um, it's kind of just kind of like a um, just a big breath, like a mental mental thing, and just telling yourself, like, hey, you know, you know like you got it. You kind of just gotta relax and just take a deep breath. Coach talks a lot about playing old and pitching old. Is that something you're thinking about while you're on the mound, or is it just kind of an overarching season theme? Um, not really. It's kind of more overarching season thing, kind of something we like talk about every day in practice. So it's kind of just going out there knowing that that's what you're trying to do, so you're not really thinking about it a whole lot. You kind of been fluctuating back and forth between the bullpen mm-hmm. and the starters. Do you, I'm going to ask you again, do you have a preference in this? Or? Uh, no, I don't I don't have a really preference. It's whatever, whatever, whatever we need that day, I'm, I'm ready to go. How do you feel like the, the crowd kind of backed you up today? Um, it it definitely helped a lot. It's nice um, having that crowd behind you. gets gets you a little gets you a little adrenaline. gets you a little uh, positivity behind you, and it get, definitely gives you some confidence. Does the preparation change at all when you you know move from being a starter into the bullpen? Um, no preparation. I have a, I have a routine, so just kind of stick in the routine, whether it's bullpen or starting.